Aloha, it is Pink Bella. It is Tuesday, December, not December. It is February 21st, 2017. I'm already in December. Okay, so welcome. I'm Pink Bella, Pink, Pink, Pink Bella Aloha Therapy. I'm a royal blue illumined twin flame. I'm here to assist, empower, balance, um, not just twin flames, divine partnerships, and also all you beautiful divine feminines and or souls that are awake and your divine partner or divine twin is, is uh, sleeping to help you on your soul mission to empower you. And I know for some of you that is very scary and I have been there. I was there exactly a year ago this month and I wanted to share with you uh, well how far I've come and that your light is needed. You're being prepared. There is a huge third wave of souls being prepared for the equinox. This is a portal, a stargate. Um, we have another solar eclipse coming up. That's the next preparation. Some of you might already be feeling it. It's not till the 26th officially, but it is coming. And I asked today for the best messages to come forward to balance the divine feminine and masculine in all of you to prepare you for the next gateway, the next solar eclipse. Now, um, there's going to be two levels of messages. It's not only the energy centers being balanced within you whenever you listen to this video and watch this video, but it also will be mirrored in your beloved based on their higher self and their evolution at that time. But the healing really is all for all of you watching. And that's the beautiful thing. We don't have to be so hands-on this year with our beloved and our divine partner. Many of us are being pulled back, slapped on the hand. And the message to me was the bed is the bed. The bread is still baking. Leave it in the oven. Let it be. If any of you are trying to contact the higher self of your twin, you might not be getting any answers. You might be feeling disconnected. That's been going on for a couple of weeks. That is to allow you to focus back on yourself and ask yourself every day, how can I serve? What gifts do I have to bring to the world? And I'm ready. I'm ready to serve. Thank you. And I, yes, I'm ready to receive payment for those services. So there's a whole bunch of things wrapped around that. But I was reminded yesterday through two beautiful clients that um, how resistant I was to my personal mission a year ago. And yet if I hadn't come forward, if I hadn't kept going, I wouldn't be here sharing with all of you. So I'm so in gratitude that my twin was not ready last year, that our union was not ready last year because I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing and I'm in gratitude for that. So for any of you souls that are resistant in moving forward and thinking, no, my mission is with my twin, that's just part of it. You have your own personal mission right now. Your gifts are needed. Your light is needed. And just being a light and being happy um, taking care of your children, taking care of your health right now, so, so important up to the equinox, okay? So I pulled some messages from the uh, Angels of Atlantis and the Heart Sigils cards. This is a reading that was given to me by my higher self in 2013. And I do heal differently. I know um, some of you might not resonate with the talking frequency energy field healing. I didn't either. It took me a while. I had to go through all the hands-on healing. But many of us, our voices have been recalibrated and you've seen that live with my voice recalibrating. Um, I do change the frequency of your energy with my energy field heart and speaking. But the other thing that I was reminded about, if you still would like a session with me and you're, you don't want to have the talking, I do offer remote healing sessions as well with no talking. And then I can email you the um, insights afterwards. And again, an energy balance is so critical for many souls are not critical. In, uh, you know, if you're called to it, it's an empowerment because it does what happens with the light coming down into our cells. It's releasing old programming in our DNA and our chakra centers belief systems to be released and new programs to come in. And sometimes our physical body hangs on to the energy somewhere. So that's where someone like myself um, or others come in. Before I get to the messages, the uh, Eclipse special is still on special. One hour is 88 US dollars. One and a half hours is 111 US dollars. I give you lots of extras. I give you an email with tools. Um, we cover, it can be a mixture of all um, aspects of a session, B being a twin flame, your journey, healing your heart, balancing your energy, talking about abundance, your soul mission. So basically just choose your Blu-ray. So many Blu-rays popping open right now. 
and so many beautiful Blu-rays frustrated with the other Twin Flame. Well, guess what? It's your call up. I was guided that there's a third wave of Blu-rays and souls being ready. Hi, being ready to be prepared to uh, help souls on the planet for your soul mission. So that's why you're being called up uh, when our twin is not in our life or not available at this time. It's go time. The other question is what, you know, I've done all of this. I've asked for all of this last year. I did all of this years ago. I've done all, you know, all the, some of the exercises that you've given me. Yes, but last year was a different energy. Last year was a cleaning up. Last year was a huge healing for a lot of us and a lot of emotional detoxing. The energy is now supporting all of you and your soul missions. It started, I was guided to start assisting all of you in January this year that you were, a lot of you were ready. And then this, the February 1st was key for the energy of 2017 has started and you are now supported. All right. Hello. Aloha. Hi, Julian. How are you? Um, so I just wanted to let you know that. So I'm going to do the energy messages. I did write down a couple things that got downloaded and I'm going to pull some crystals for us for support for this time period and also some um, affirmations from the Miracles Now deck because I really feel like a lot of you need a boost and a lifting up, but your services are so, so needed right now. Oh my gosh. So I wanted to let you know that this eclipse is another portal. It's a stargate. It's a vortex. It's a cosmic gateway. As um, a planet and galaxy and universe, we literally are going through a portal in space. We're going deeper into what's called the photon belt. It's changing every single person, place, and thing on this planet. The other half of our union um, is needing their own like cocoon and separate ascension time at this time. So if any of you do try and reach out and there's like a block, allow the block to be there and have compassion for that soul. Okay. There also might be other souls in your life that are acting out right now. And that as well is they're they're being moved up to the next level and they thought that they were at the right level, but they're being, up, you know, accelerated, uh, light body upgrades. I call them. This is our light ship. This is our energy field our quantum field our aura, whatever you want to call it and we're actually I talk about the chakras because it brings forward messages but we're actually turning into a tube of light some of us are already a tube of light we have a quantum field and we shift energy and raise the vibration of people places things just being around people if those of you that are just awakening or have been working on your path that's the next graduation that you're being prepared for we're all being prepared to see here do more we're all being prepared to have all of our gifts be brought online everyone's at a gradual level because we're all being prepared to see more than we can see i often see when i'm walking pillars of light flashes of awesome colors and um it's amazing it we're really in a very cool time right now so I just wanted to talk about the portal and the gateway for the divine masculine or the twin or the um, divine partner that's kind of offline, gone back to sleep, whatever words you want to use. This is their time to ascend, to shift their um, quantum field. Their divine template is being upgraded. Oftentimes it's done in when we're sleeping. Most of the time it's done when we're sleeping. So we're being pulled apart and to not communicate with those souls uh, until they are ready. And you can ask for something like bring back the highest version of that soul when they're ready. Uh, and it's going to be a harmonious connection. And for the divine feminine or the soul, the twin flame that's awake and on, um, in your heart and you've done lots of clearing you did more than enough clearing last year this is your time this is your time for your soul mission so you're being supported and uh, for abundance for prosperity for your gifts to come forward and to more, embody more of your higher self and it really reflects in the high it really reflects in the chakra messages because the chakra messages for the divine masculine or the partner that is um, still going through their evolution very high messages like stellar gateways opening and um, they're getting prepared which I felt like we just went through the ones that are awake and aware twin one whatever you want to call yourself the beloved that's awake that was awoke first uh, those messages for you this time are hi everyone those messages for you this time are the messages to um, that you're ready they're more of like your physical body's getting prepared to to take on more energy you're 
your energy container to help more. So I think I'm going to do the divine feminine or the for the twin or the divine partner that is awake and aware and that you've already, I'm sure you all felt the lunar eclipse. It was pretty um, like boom for me. And uh, I went through a huge lesson with my twin union as well. And it was fascinating and it helped me ask more questions. That's usually what happens. And more information came through. And like I said, the message was the bread is still baking. <laughs> Leave it in the oven. Allow that soul to go through some things. You don't need to focus on that soul. You don't need to ask how they're doing. You don't need to be clearing energy for them. You surrender, let go. That's the big message. Surrender and let go. And the, how do we let go? We ask the higher self source in the universe. Look, I've done what I can. Please assist this person to come back into their heart and come back into my life when they're ready. Okay. Hello, everyone. Aloha. Okay. So I wanted to the overall divine feminine energy that's being balanced is the root chakra. And that came forward actually a couple of times. So do whatever you d need to do to be grounded at this time. We've talked about it before. One of the messages, victory. Um, but I also felt the message was because your gifts are being brought more consciously to you and they're going to be grounded into the new earth. So if you're still unclear about your soul mission, it often comes to us in bits and pieces. You're going to get lots of downloads and inspiration and ideas from now until the equinox. So keep a little book with you to have messages in your phone, record messages, allow those ideas to come forward and, um, and just know that that's part of your mission. We're given a bit of a map every single time. Okay. The other thing is, is that you might feel some days you're ungrounded. So write a list out of things, your little toolkit for being grounded. As example, for me, it's uh, drinking water will ground you because we're, we're very high, um, we're high percentage of uh, water within us. So if you drink water, that will actually help you feel like you're, you're uh, more on this earth. The other thing, some of you might have been eating a lot lately or have been craving foods that you don't feel that you should be eating. Usually when we're going through a large energy expansion, we need denser foods and lots of it. So I did just go through a couple of days of like nonstop eating. And now I've balanced out, but it's almost like our body needs that density as we're expanding and uh, raising our vibration. So in the other way I ground, I go out in nature, I hug trees, sea salt baths, that sort of thing. So you have a kit listening to music, dancing. You can walk if you're in uh, winter and you're in cold, walk around barefoot in the house and that's fine. That's moving like um, connecting your feet to the earth star and to the earth. And even if you're in an apartment, it's fine. OK, the next messages that came forward for the divine feminine. And I think some of you have been feeling that the sacral came forward twice. So the sacral is uh in our previous energy body was how we connected intimately with our divine partner or any partners. And that has been shifted back. We're, we're going to be connecting just by our hearts. The sacral is being cleared up, upgraded. Um, some of you might've been feeling like pulses or pain in that area. Just know that that's, that's just part of it. It's part of your body readjusting your energy center readjusting and that that center is going to go back to being filled with joy and creativity and helping our root chakra and helping, um, you know, the gifts come down from source through us, express it, we express it up through our heart, and then it's going down and anchoring into the earth and coming back up. So any mission, part of your mission is from our heart now. All, all things going forward should be based on love, and um, your business should be based on love, and you should be trying to find what gives you joy and happiness and bring that to the earth. And then the the Anything in 3D that is not based on love will start to unravel. So there's no fear around that. It's just the way it's been set up for us. Okay. Archangel Michael also came forward. Boldness. Again, this is for you beautiful souls to be in your power. Um, if you're not ready for your soul mission, you're getting ready for your soul mission. If your soul mission has been at one level for a while, you're going to get ready for a graduation to move up. Third eye crown your chakras being activated to a higher frequency. That's what you're all being prepared for. Uh, throat, which has been coming through all of my sessions, your throat chakra is being recalibrated and connected to your heart. Aloha, everyone. Being reconnected to your heart at a higher frequency. So that's often why you hear my voice is different. It's sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. It's shifting as well. And um, I'm just going with it. And I'm very conscious right now of I can only speak and have so many sessions before my voice gets all cracky and low vibration. So that's when we have to be quiet, go be a little bit of hermit right now. So gauge your energy with whatever you're doing. If you need more rest, 
take it. If you need to not speak to people for a while, do that. And just know it's all part of the process. Heart, water. Um, if you can be by water, drink water. See, sea salt baths like I mentioned also the green energy with Raphael hi everyone is um, the green energy with Raphael is the taking care of your physical body so during the ascension and during the upgrades you are going to have things where your physical body is just going to be like pay attention this is what's going on ask your body what you need but definitely rest and diet and all those sort of things aloha oh happy birthday Barbara hi Roberta aloha yeah, I know. Thank you, Roberta, for confirming that. The throat chakra. Well, you all know you saw that happen to me last week. So I'm usually a little bit ahead of everyone. But the throat chakra, definitely it comes and goes. And I'm finding that even before my sessions, if a, if a client is going through something with their throat, all it'll start um, happening to me just before the session. So drink lots of herbal tea and take care of yourselves and just know this is part of the process, okay? You're all being raised up to a higher vibration, which means everything we say, think, do is going to be a higher frequency. You all have the same abilities that I do. I just was prepared a little bit earlier. There were other souls that were prepared ahead of me. The next wave is coming. And for many of you who your soul missions have been on hold, get ready because you're going to be needed. And how do I know that? Because the consciousness of the planet has raised enough now that the there are going to be many souls that need guidance, healings, um, being shown the way how to stay in their heart. And they're going to, they're going to be suddenly like, what's going on? I'm awake. I have no idea what, what's happening. So, um, that's how I assist. And I'm in so much in gratitude for all of you. And finally, Oh, two cards popped out. Okay. So for the divine feminine, the twin, the divine partner, that's awake, that's on soul mission or getting ready for soul mission. Also your, um, Galactic cord, your universal card cord is being upgraded. The divine romance template again is being activated. And that's a great thing. And it, it it's more right now, it's really about self-love and unconditional love, not only for yourself and your union that's still not here, but that's okay. You're here to be unconditionally loving to all souls, and your light is needed wherever you are on the planet. I got a big message from a couple souls lately that they have everyone has felt stuck, that they felt stuck where they are. You're not stuck, but you're you were on mission to stay in a certain area for a certain period of time. You absolutely can ask to be unstuck. You absolutely can ask for doors to be open, but you have to trust and have faith that you have the ability to do that and that you're being heard. And that's what myself and many others are assisting you. You're much more you're much more empowered and powerful than you've been led to believe and or that you know. And that's where myself and other um, coaches come in and let you know you're a bright shining light and you have many beautiful gifts and abilities. And then finally, um, for all of you, celebration, you know, remind yourself to celebrate each and every day. This is also the soul star. So there might still be a little bit of detoxing and clearing out of belief systems from our soul family, earth family. And I am assisting with helping to heal and clear karma timelines and Akashic records as well. That can also be part of your session. Thank you so much, Barbara. Mahalo nui loa. Bye. Uh, for all of you watching, wondering who I'm talking to, this is a Facebook Live, a Facebook Love, and I actually will be uploading it on YouTube later. So that is the awesome messages for right now for the Divine Feminine or you, the beautiful soul who's awake and been waiting for your twin and your divine partner to arrive and wake up. This is not judgmental at all, but I did ask. It felt like my twin had kind of gone back to sleep a little bit, so I asked about that. Many of them have been. It looks like they're sleeping, but behind the scenes, their higher self and source is working on a different plan for them. They have a di they're going to have a different evolution and a different way of waking up. Some of them are going through what I call the tower energy, the dark night of the soul. We're allowing them to have that process. If this person, I often ask this, if this person was not your soulmate, not your twin flame, not your divine partner, if it was a family member, would you not have more compassion for them and their process? They can only go through the ev evolution as best they can for their higher self and their soul. And that's why we let go. That's why we surrender now. And we let go, not of the love. The love never disappears, but we let go of trying to control the situation and trying to have them wake up sooner than when they're ready. Okay. So that is awesomeness. All right. Oh my gosh. I didn't even notice this. So the overall message for the divine masculine, the twin, the twin that's still,
people waking up uh, and going through their evolution right now they is the soul star the soul star is coming forward so they are being going through situations or going to be going through situations where they're questioning everything people place things uh, belief systems religion uh, politics uh, finance you know where they're working maybe they work corporate everything you know their country what's going on what happened I just woke up I don't understand why I'm here so <laughs> <laughs> we understand many of us have been through that meditation for any of you right now that's the message meditation for any of you right now will be helpful and um, choose peace in every moment I often say that but whatever's not bringing you peace right now choose something to switch it up and choose peace uh, nature absolutely if you have an access to nature nature will immediately realign your energy centers and bring you peace and that's what nature gives to us and that's abundance that we all have an opportunity if you have it take it even if you feel you don't have it you have some form of being outdoors and receiving from source and from mother earth so really really do that okay but i just want to show you the other soul what they're dealing with so they're going through many many belief systems whereas those of you watching you're you're going through the next level of your soul mission and um, how do you stay grounded and how do you bring your mission through your vehicle uh, through the earth and that's what's happening to the new earth so the other messages this is how and this is what I've been giving a message getting a message from my higher self and source in the universe is that the divine masculine the divine partner that's going through their evolution their energy field is different from ours their processes are different than ours um, often the model is male female but that's not the case there's many male male female females but one is embodying more of the masculine and one's embodying more of the feminine and the other soul is going through a different awakening evolution process than we are they have a different template they have a different uh, frequency they are going through their awakening at the speed that their higher self and source in the universe uh, is determining how they're going to wake up to the next level we are told hands off back to us how can we serve and that's so so important right now uh hello kathleen aloha so awesome to see you guys so for the the evolution process soul star family belief system karma akashic records big that's their the big overall message the divine uh, stellar gateway came through actually it came through three times i'm only going to show two cards what does that mean their universal consciousness is awakening and there that's the that this is the sign of the big wake up is it going to be everyone no but i did ask the souls that we're waiting for to wake up how far along are we and the message I got was like 70% of them are still sleepy or going through some kind of evolution right now that's quite high but it's also quite low compared to what it was a couple of years ago so it the the divine plan is unfolding um, as soon as it can and the message is miracles believe in love true love magic and miracles and look for miracles every day we receive miracles every day and be in gratitude for that being gratitude for each day each day is a new beginning a fresh start and a new opportunity to bring your gifts to um, everyone around you family friends children your neighborhood your city your country all right all the lights all your bright lights have needed right now more than ever guess what else came forward the throat chakra came forward twice balance and grace but I love this one because this is like not only being in grace but flying and being free so be try to do whatever you can in the coming days and weeks to be in balance know that if your throat is taken offline to rest it and um, freedom okay so again the throat chakra for the divine masculine and or the other twin is being balanced and it's being balanced for you today because I set the intention whatever chakra messages came forward that you would all be healed and balanced uh, whenever you watch this video there is no time um, faith came forward third eye um, visions um, this can also mean headaches but um, definitely third eye activity for everyone uh, dreams seeing things um, and you know be okay about it and ask to see only awesome things I ask I always ask to only see awesome things so I, that's why I get to see colors when I'm out walking so but just have faith in the process in your journey it's all part of the divine plan and the third eye of the beloved partner twin flame that's awakening that's part of their evolution right now but you might be experiencing some of this as well 
um, trust. I love this. Miracles, faith, and trust. What a beautiful, beautiful message for us. Heart, healing, self-love, self-compassion, unconditional love and self-love for you. Work on that for you. That's a daily job to love yourself. And that's what you're being given an opportunity to do. Trust and have faith in the universe, your higher self, and the process. And then Archangel Michael, of course, came forward again. This is like the I am presence. This is not only the third eye crown, but this is the empowerment that we have been working on and that the other beloved is starting to understand and messages are starting to come to them, situations uh, to help them be in their power. How can you help? Say your I am's in the morning. I am abundant. I am prosperous. I am love and light. Set your intention to be that during the day and then see how beautiful your day is. Third eye crown, your chakras, very similar messages, but they're being balanced on both sides. So this, the divine masculine, the twin flame, the divine partner, they're going through their large evolution. And I kind of am feeling like a lot of us went through this in November last year when the 1111 gateway opened. I feel like that's the evolution for the other wave of souls that's awakening. Okay. Beautiful. Yay. All right. I'm going to pull some crystal cards to see what can support us. Oh, uh, well, that one just fell out, so I will read that one. I'll just see what's... Green moss agate. I think any green stone, but I love that it's green moss because remember we were talking about nature. Nature is so unconditionally loving to all of us. Our minds will tell us we don't have time to go outside. Listen to the voice that says go outside because that will clear your energy up. It'll rebalance you and you will actually feel you'll have more energy for your projects, for being of service. And you'll re you'll readjust all your energy centers to be of a high, very, very high frequency. Okay. Let's see what else is available. Any green stone though. Green, any green stone right now. Tiger's eye, which always comes for, forward for us grounding empowerment and um, helps us helps all the lower energy centers um, handle what's going on right now. So I feel like this is really a key stone for a lot of us right now, keeping us in our power, keeping us balanced, keeping us grounded as the energies increase. And we'll just do one more. Beautiful. Hematite, angel of inner peace and grounding. Any kind of grounding stone, black um, or like a red stone for energy, like red jasper. But hematite's been coming forward too. It doesn't need clearing. It's ultra grounding. It's also great for our earth star. So if any of you, like I said, if you're going through kind of any recalibration and you're feeling dizzy, um, that sort of thing, hematite and tiger's eye would be fantastic for you right now. And then a green stone to stay in balance, especially if you're very, very busy right now and or the weather's super cold and you can't get outside. And the green stones remind to take care of our health and our physical body and if you're not if you've made everything else a priority besides your physical body then things your higher self will bring you something like a cold a flu a throat thing um some like, super sleepy to slow you down and help you readjust to what's happening to your light body all right so i pulled some affirmations and actually what i love is they're almost all the same colors and it's like uh, reds and oranges which we talked about the root and the sacral and the purples and the indigos for the third eye and the crown. So that's the main messages right now. Um, the first affirmation, I speak with confidence because the world needs my light. So that's another reason why our throat chakras are being recalibrated. So we are speaking our truth and speaking from our empowerment center and speaking with love and compassion. Um, we don't need to yell or have arguments with anyone anymore. That's a very low vibration. And if you come across any situation like that, um, you can just excuse yourself. Okay. Choose peace in every moment. So I speak with confidence because the world needs my light. The next one, when I move my body, I bust through all that blocks me from my true health and vitality. So any kind of movement right now is perfect to shift up your internal energy and then also your out, outer energy. Walking is fantastic. Um, anything you can do, dancing, uh, run if some of you like to run, whatever works for you, but just know going to the gym, whatever, just set your intention that you're going to shift up the energy and move forward and give you strength and vitality. Okay. Third one. So many of them came forward. It was beautiful. I show up for myself in the world. You're being called up to be of service. And I hear many of you say, but I don't have the money. I don't know what to do. 
ask your higher self and your team to bring open doors for you and say you're ready. I'm ready to be of service. I would often ask every day, how can I serve? How can I serve? How can I serve? I'm in gratitude to be here. How can I serve? And you, answers will come. Just be patient. But just know uh, you show up for yourself in the world every single day and be in gratitude for each day and forget, let go of everything in the past. Um, depression, if you're going through a bit of a depression, that's energy that's from the past that's somehow in your energy field. If you're feeling anxious, that's part of you worrying about the future and that hasn't happened yet. So we want to stay present in the, in the now and be in gratitude. To truly flourish is to release all the tension that holds me back from letting love pour through me. So that's a beautiful message about abundance. You know, we have to be relaxed and calm for the ideas to come. And then we have to be vital and um, healthy to be able to show up and share our gifts. All right. And then finally, of course, I surrender my desires and I know the universe has my back. Surrender. Surrender and letting go has been such a message to me for weeks and weeks and weeks. And what I didn't understand on the twin flame journey was how can I let go of that soul, you know, but then, then it came to me, you're not letting go. You're always connected by the heart, but you're letting go of trying to wake that person up. You're letting go of trying to lift them up all the time. You're letting go of spending your energy more time over there than present. So stay present. Ask the higher self in the universe to take care of your beloved, your family, let go of worry, trust in a higher power. And we surrender now and we let go and we say, you know, we, we want to have a healthy, happy life today. What does that mean? How can I serve? And I surrender the process. I surrender um, the twin flame journey because I know it's all going to work out beautifully and in the divine time. Okay. Hopefully that's helpful. I love all you so much. Absolutely surrender. I know. I know, Kathleen. It's going to get easier, though. I promise. I promise. Okay. Love and aloha. I'm going to have to leave you all, and I'm going to load this up on YouTube soon. Have a beautiful evening. Again, one hour and one and a half hour sessions are on special. All the information's below here on Facebook. Also in the comments in YouTube, you can go to my website. I am booking into, I think, the second week in March, but there may be some cancellations, and I have evening specials as well. Like I do have evening time. So just email me if you don't see a time. It's gotten a little busy because I'm going, uh, I'm moving grid points in a couple of weeks, but that's, it's going to be awesome. So, and I'll be able to catch up with all of you after that. So I love you all so much. Have a beautiful evening. Mahalo Nui Loa. You're welcome. And I look forward to connecting with you all in sessions if you're called. All right. Take care everyone. Bye.